Hey, what's going on, everyone? This video is to uh, talk about the reason why I switched from the Z Fold 3 to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. As you can see from the thumbnail, one of the biggest reasons why I switched to back to the S series is the camera. The camera on the Z Fold 3 is horrible. I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's not a flagship camera. It's, it's not a camera that you would see on a flagship phone. Uh, it's only 12 megapixels, and the quality is pretty bad compared to the, to the Z Fold. I'm sorry, it's compared to the, the 22, or even the 22, I'm sorry, the 22, or even the 22... I mean, or even the 22, uh, the 20. Oh, shoot, there you go. Yeah, even to the 20, the, uh, the S20 camera is much better. And S21, of course. So they took a big step back. Now, this camera right here is much better. I already took it out and videoed it, videotaped some stuff with it, and it was great. And the size, this right here feel much more comfortable in the hands this one right here much more comfortable in the hands you can hold it with one hand I can pretty much do everything I need to do unfortunately with the Z Fold you can open it up however it's hard to do one hand stuff and then I used to use this screen a lot but it was a nightmare to text with that was the main problem with this with this phone right here but like i said before this phone was great when it came to um to using it as a tablet and it was cutting edge it was uh nice to have however for the last six months that i had this phone it started dawning on me that this is not something that i want to keep full time especially with this crease right here this crease drove me crazy after a while especially when i was using the pen going across it just feeling this little indent i just can't take it anymore and i must say since the s22 ultra has a pen built in it reminds me so much of the note note series so i pretty much i can do everything that i need it fits my hands great. You know, I have pretty large hands. So the Ultra is not a problem. So I will I, I will be passing on the Z Fold 4 when it comes out in around August time. But leaks that I saw basically are saying that it's going to be the same form factor, same style. I'm not sure how much they're going to upgrade the cameras and pretty much this is going to be the same look and I'm sure they're not going to figure out anything with this 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 uh, crease in the middle which is something like I said it beats you up over time especially going back to something like this you, you, you are reminded of why these cameras these phones the candy bar type phones are so special because it fits in your hand perfectly feels a lot better damn I'm setting going off crazy feels a lot better now would I recommend the Z Fold 3 to anyone uh, I wouldn't recommend this phone as a daily driver you know even though I used it for basically six months as my primary personal phone I also for full disclosure I have an iPhone I, I use my iPhone for work so iPhone I always keep on me and yeah I've been having all the Samsung phones since the Note 7 and you know that one was a mess then I had uh, the Note 8, the Note 9, the Note 10, the Note 20 I recently just sold my Note 20 uh, for cash um, and, and I had the, the S22 had the S9 I usually buy the phone every six months when they come out come out with a new phone that's what I've been doing however now I'm probably gonna 
keep this one pass on the Z Fold 4 so maybe the Z Fold 5 if they could figure out what to do with this how to figure out how to get past this crease maybe I'll go for that one so most uh, I'm probably gonna sell this one at some point you know well but I'm gonna wait until August one because you never know maybe the leaks are wrong and it might have something that's uh, more interesting and I might change my mind and might want to trade this in so I'm just gonna hold on to it you know that's, that's why I keep the boxes and I try my best to keep my phones in cases and and try to take care of my phone and everything for that reason alone so when it's time for me to to trade it in or sell it the phone is in great condition like this case I got from Amazon this is one of those Harding cases it adds a little bit of bulk to it but I like the case it has a nice little kickstand to it which is great you could um you can I, I can use this to prop it up if I want to take a video if I'm in a gym so it works perfectly and if it, if it falls because sometimes I have my phone in high places <laughs> in the gym <laughs> Or in my garage gym, either way, it, it, it will fall down. In this case, right here, protects it. Every once in a while, this little hinge in the back, this little hinge right here will break. And usually when that happens, um, I like to have at least one or two of these cases. You know, they, they're pretty, they're under $25. So I buy two or three at a time and then just keep them. So when I break them, I have another case ready to go. Like a disposable armor. So I'll keep this on my phone. I had one on my Z Fold three which the day before I got the S22 Ultra I dropped it and it broke the case but it saved the phone so the case served its purpose so the case went out on its shield but um but like I said this phone when I first got it, it was great because it was new but the limitations I just couldn't get past it and um Wish everyone luck. If you if you didn't get your S22 Ultra yet, hopefully you get it real soon. I know the S22s, the regular ones, like what they call it, the Plus, they are being delayed because of the chip shortage. So, they, so Samsung made sure they took care of the, the Ultras first. But yeah, but this is a great phone. Like, like going back to a good camera system is great. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Samsung won't do that again. They go so cheap on the cameras just to give you the fold at a, a reasonable price but um that's about it everyone have a good day and good luck